Now, I promise that I'm not trying to milk security breach. We've just been getting a lot of news on it. I mean, here I was eating my Tostino's pizza rolls and Steel Wool and Scott come out with some statements, okay? <laughs> Let's talk about that. Now, I was contemplating whether or not I should actually make a video about what Steel Wool tweeted out, which we'll get into very shortly, don't mind me. And then I thought, you know what? People are just gonna think that I'm milking the security breach videos, which, hey, that's not a bad idea. But then Scott came out with a statement and I was like, you know what, I, I kinda have to at this point. Cause he revealed when the official gameplay trailer 2 for Security Breach comes out. First off, if you're new here, subscribe. We've been talking a lot about Security Breach. And yes, I will be covering every single tiny detail about this game in the future, so click that bell button if you don't want to miss a video. And of course, smash it on the like button because, hey, you're a pog champ. So I'm sure I don't need to review the tech demo, which is what it's being called now by Steel Wall and Scott, that we got today during NVIDIA's um, Game On Showcase broadcast. So many creators have done videos on it, so I don't feel like I need to cover it, but in case you did miss it, somehow my reaction and my, you know, analysis on it is linked down below. So now let's start off with what Steel Wool said, and then we'll talk about what Scott said. Steel Wool tweeted out, Hey everyone, I wanted to let the FNAF fans that were hoping for a full gameplay trailer today at the NVIDIA GeForce RTX CES showcase that this was always meant to be a demonstration of the amazing RTX tech for the PC version of Security Breach. So that confirms there that what we saw in the showcase uh, broadcast was the PC version of Security Breach, not the PlayStation 5, the PC. Which works out nicely actually because now we've seen the game run on the PlayStation 5 and now we, um, we see what it looks like running on the PC. They replied later on saying we are hard at work on the game and working on a awesome gameplay trailer to be launched at a specific time in the future. I didn't want anyone to get confused regarding expectations today. We know you want more and we can't wait to show it to you. Looking back, I don't think anyone was really quite certain on what time, specific time they were talking about, um, but now we know from Scott that it's going to be released alongside the security breach figurines being made by Funko in March. So, let's talk about what Scott had to say about today. I kind of spoiled it, but that statement wouldn't make any sense if I didn't spoil it, so yeah. Here's what Scott had to say. He said, Concerning Trailer 2. Hey everyone, I just wanted to comment really quick about today's release of quote, Trailer 2. What you saw today was originally intended as more of a tech demo and wasn't supposed to be the second official trailer. In fact, gameplay was intentionally withheld from the video for use in the next trailer. Viewing this as a tech demo does showcase some of the new locations, well, I think, but viewing it as an official trailer can be disappointing and I get that and I'm sorry. So if you can try to wipe the trailer 2 tag from your minds, then I promise you'll be much happier when you see the actual second trailer. The official second trailer will be revealed in March. Smiley face. So first off, I just want to say, um, Scott, you don't have to apologize. In fact, I should be one of the people to apologize because I did kind of lead people into the fact that it was going to be a trailer 2. Um, and before this video goes live, um, all of my videos that say Security Breach Trailer 2 will be altered to say Tech Demo because you know, I I feel bad now <laughs> now that we know that it wasn't supposed to be a trailer too. So yeah, I'm going to retitle, re-description, I guess, uh, all the videos. That'll be changed, and hopefully in March we can have the official trailer number two, which is very exciting because gameplay, boys. We're finally gonna get gameplay. Now again, it does release in March, the same time as the Security Breach figures being made by Funko. Let me actually double check when they release exactly. So I'm pretty sure the Dates are slightly different depending on whether you ordered them on GameStop or um, or Amazon. But for me, on GameStop, it says the 15th of March they release. So, right in the middle of the month. So, at least we have that to look forward to. Um, I really hope it doesn't get pushed back because I, like, March is a, a good time, right? It's, it's still a little bit of ways away, but it's not too long, you know, from trailer number one all the way to the tech demo we got today. October, November, December. It's like four months. God, that was insane. So yeah, this one is half that time, which I think we can wait. Um, it's gonna be unfortunate because I definitely can see some possible more leaks coming out before then. Um, I just hope they don't spoil the game. But then again, at this point, we've gotten kind of all the merch we need, unless something gets revealed at the Funko Fair um, in the next couple of days when that launches on, I believe it's the 19th. Hopefully no spoilers there, because I, I would love to go into the gameplay trailer not knowing much besides um, the, uh, what we got revealed to us during the 
figures made by Funko, because Scott did say that, that those figures revealed some gameplay features, um, and we are guessing that those gameplay features are hiding Gregory inside of Glamrock Freddy, so hopefully we don't get too much more news. I know people probably don't like that when I say that. You know, it's like, why don't you want more news? I, I want to see the gameplay trailer uh, kind of blinded, if you know what I mean. I, I want to go into it not knowing much about the gameplay, um, which is complete, you know, juxtaposition for what I've been saying for the past months is that I want to see gameplay. Um, I, I think it's, it's different now just because we know when we are finally getting a gameplay trailer. Um, and I also hope that they don't try and rush the trailer because people are upset about what we got today. I really hope they take their time with it. Same thing with the main game itself. I, I would hate for them to rush it. Not only the trailer, but again, also the game. Just because of the backlash that they've gotten today and also in the past back in September. And I guess really just any time during the development of this game, right? Because we've all been pestering Scott and still all like, hey, you know, it's been a bit since we've had a teaser, it's been a bit since we've had a trailer, it's been a bit since we've had official news from you guys instead of third party, you know, companies that leak the game through, you know, merchandise. So, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. I completely forgot about what I was talking about. But yeah, this is all very exciting news. Uh, we're looking forward to March. Great. Uh, I, again, I really hope we don't get any, any leaks by then. We've been pretty good, actually, with leaks. I think that's just because all the merchandise has kind of died down now that now that it's all been released speaking of merchandise it's not about security breach but i thought i'd mention it anyways uh fnaf ar is back in business with their merchandise they just released some Belora and dark circus event uh merchandise hoodies mugs stickers all that good stuff uh right now it's pre-order only so and then i i keep talking about it just because i think it's really cool darko 8-bit ryan and rasbowski's u2s uh they do drop in about 10 days on the 22nd and i think that might be all the news we have right now uh actually i do want to quickly talk about what's going on with fnaf ar the game itself instead of just their merchandise uh very quickly at the end here because while we were all freaking out about uh security breach fnaf ar did put out a tweet if i can find it they say what's next preparing for february and ferocious work on new things for fnaf ar meanwhile get ready for another blast from the past many familiar faces will visit in the next three weeks. Remember, tokens expire tomorrow, January 13th at 4pm PST, and the new event starts on the 14th of January at 4pm PST. So yeah, we're getting more re-releases of skins for the next three weeks. Um, that's honestly insane. But then again, again, Illumix and FNAF AR, <laughs> I, I say FNAF AR like they are a group of people, um, and not just the game itself. They they worked their butts off last year, 2020. Such a terrible year, but really they, they made it pretty fantastic they carried the entire fnaf community basically last year with their skin so they definitely do deserve a break a little bit disappointed that we're gonna have to wait until february because i for some reason now i'm really starting to miss fnaf AR. i don't know what's up with that because i'm the guy that's supposed to hate the game but yeah uh for the next three weeks we're gonna get re-releases of skins so yeah we got a bit to wait for more fnaf ar content but hopefully they'll they'll come back with some bangers right we still have that massive gameplay update that they need to release uh, I'm guessing probably sometime in February when they do return. But that's it right now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. A lot of content being pumped out right now. Mostly on Security Breach, but tomorrow, um, the 13th, I say, I should say, because it's probably tomorrow for you guys, for some people. Yeah, I'm finally gonna talk about the Funko Fair. As long as we don't have any more news to talk about tomorrow, we really need a break right now. Today was just insane. We got so much stuff. So, thanks for watching. Thank you guys so much for the support recently. It's been incredible. And I'll see you all on the flip side. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us. <laughs>